Are you wondering how to change your Twitch servers through OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS? Then this video is for you. Stay tuned. Welcome to Live Streaming Tech, and if you want to learn to stream like a pro, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn that bell notification on so you don't miss a single video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to link a Twitch server to your OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. And this goes for setting up a new one or changing the server after you've tested them and found out that there's a better server to go with. Okay, so let's take it away. Join me over here. Okay, now that we've had downloaded and installed OBS Studio, you're probably wondering to yourself, how do we link this to our Twitch account? Well, this is quite simple. As you see, we have OBS running, and here I am talking to you using the camera. I already have the Logitech Brio hooked up, and it's quite simple. Now, a lot of you have probably used Streamlabs OBS or thought to yourself, why am I not using Streamlabs OBS since this is pretty much automated? Actually, OBS Studio now has this feature, so let's go ahead and jump in and check it out. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come down to settings. Click that. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit stream. This is where you can link it to your accounts. Now, as you see here, you have YouTube Gaming, Mixer, uh, Facebook Live, Restream IO, so on and so forth, even Twitter's Periscope, which I've actually tried before. It's actually kind of fun to uh, stream on that one. But we're looking for Twitch today. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Now, we're going to have an option to connect the account. Before you didn't you didn't have this option. You just had to go into your Twitch account, copy and paste the stream key, and that's the only way that you could go in. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and link it to the live streaming tech account. This is the test way right now because we haven't live streamed. Well, actually, I think my brother Dale did uh, do a short live stream using the mobile app, but that's a different video. Go ahead. We're going to click on account. Another thing they changed is you used to be able to have to put in your full email. Now you can just put in the actual name and it's live stream tech, all one word. And we're going to hit log in. Okay, so now it prompts us and it says, this will allow OBS Studio to view your channel's email address in Steam Key. This is what we're wanting. That is the exact thing. The only reason why they're verifying the email address is because they are... Uh, wanting to verify that this is actually your account. So get a list of all subscribers to your channel. Now that obviously, unfortunately, I, I don't like that fact that they shouldn't have any reason to see my subscribers and who pays to see my content. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and hit authorize. It's not a super huge big deal. Now, this is the important part. Let me pull it down so you can see how important it is. This is the important part. Service, we still leave it on Twitch. The server is auto recommended. Now, I know in Streamlabs OBS, it says they recommend leaving it on that. This is where I beg to differ. The only reason being is because if a server that is optimized for your location happens to go down, it's automatically going to look for the next best server. I have noticed this on Streamlabs OBS. It will do this or say that I stream during a peak time. It might bounce me over to a different server that might be optimized for that time, but maybe that's not my normal stream time. So when I go to stream again, it's going to be hitting that secondary server when I want it to be attached to that primary server. So I have a video and if you haven't already watched it, click that uh, card up there and I actually have a free program that you can use to find out what the best Twitch server to go with. So we're going to look and I know for my sake that Chicago right now normally during my live stream times is the best server to go with. Obviously, it's gonna be different for you, so definitely check that listings. Once again, click that card that popped up above, and you can check that out as well. So now we are going to hit apply, and boom, we are ready to rock and roll. And as you noticed on the sides now, we have the stream information, over here, we have the chat. 
So yes, that is actually, our chat is now connected and our stream information. Why that's important is because say you are like right now it says title, testing out new restream software. So we can put testing and then this is the go live notification. This is just a test. So that way if anyone, that I always recommend setting up a secondary account that people aren't following you on to test out anything that you do streaming. Because the problem is, is if they have that notification on, every time you hit that go live button, it's going to notify them. And instead of typing in what I just typed in, this is just a test, it's better to do it on a ghost site or a ghost account to where no one's following it, no one's watching it, no one's viewing it, and then you can test out different things, whether it be with Streamlabs, OBS, OBS Studio, or any other type of live streaming software that you wanna play around with. Uh, we'll just leave the category, we're gonna hit update information, boom. Now we're updated, and if we wanted to hit go live, we can actually now go live. Now, let's go ahead and we're gonna shrink down my camera real quick, and we are gonna test it out to make sure we are good to go. Now, as far as the settings go, your live streaming settings, it is gonna vary for person to person in PC setup. So what I recommend you do is go check out this video, just click on that card up there, for the best settings for streaming live on Twitch. But we're gonna go ahead and test that. So we got our image. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how real quick how to add a generic overlay. We're gonna hit add. We're going to image. We're gonna type in overlay. And there's other videos that I have and that we will create to show you different things that you can do with this. But for now, we're just gonna do a generic overlay. We're gonna browse. We're going to go into last Okay, we were there. There's the overlay, PNG, open. And by the way, I made this one on Nerd. You can get for free, ones you can pay for, so on and so forth. So now we have our notifications there. Obviously, we would need to set up alerts for those to pop into those different overlays, but I was just showing you for the sake of showing you. Okay, now that we've set up what Twitch server we're gonna go to, and we now have our interfaces on both sides here as well as OBS Studio. Now, before you click that go live button, just know this, hit this video real quick over here. We talk about how to do the best settings for live streaming on Twitch using Streamlabs OBS. Guess what? These settings will be exactly the same for OBS Studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue setting up my stuff for my live stream. And until then, I'll see you around.